We're here with Paul Booth at the 2020 BDO World Professional Darts Championship. Paul, it's been a solid opening few days, we've seen some great averages and the crowds have been in. It's been a great start for the championships. Fantastic, really happy, really good few days to get us started. Saturday afternoon was bouncing in here, we've had some great fun with the audiences and uh, Sunday was a good day and Monday was a pleasant surprise as well. To be quite honest we thought Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday straight after Christmas into the new year everyone's back at work no one could predict how many people was going to be in but quite a pleasantly surprise really yeah so good good few days yeah I really think if, we, if we'd have scripted it we couldn't have asked it to start any better. In terms of stories as well I think Bo Greaves has probably been the the headline package a 15 year old winning 2-0 and looking so comfortable on stage were you, were you surprised how well she played up there? Not at all, not at all surprised. No, she's so chilled, she's so calm, takes everything in a stride. Don't think she's overwrought by the occasion at all. And when she returns on Thursday, it's going to be her 16th birthday. So we'll have to get the audience to sing uh, happy birthday to her when she comes on. Uh, in terms of this being your first BDO World Championship, has there only been anything you've had to adapt and, and how much you've enjoyed the occasion so far? Uh, when I was offered the role of MC with the BDO, one of the first questions I asked was, was I able to have a bit of fun with everybody? So uh, I've brought a bit of fun to the occasion, to be quite honest. During the adverts, we have a load of fun. We had John Gwynn on stage yesterday throwing darts and then the audience trying to match John's magic number challenge. It's been awesome, absolutely brilliant. We've got a fantastic DJ who travels with us to all the events in Matt Hill and we just basically get the party started. We've had a really, really good atmosphere. And as far as, I mean, I'm constantly mingling with the crowd as well. And I've been talking to people about their experience at the Indigo, and it's nothing but positive, absolutely brilliant. This is a real state-of-the-art venue. The sound is incredible. The setting is amazing, the stage looks absolutely tremendous and people are going away really, really happy. And as far as prices in here go, they're selling four pint pictures for £15. This is £3.75 a pint in London. So it's a really good experience. Everyone's walking away from here happy. I was going to say, I think the venue's been one of the biggest success stories of the week so far. It's um, really a perfect venue for a, for a championship like this. And if you get the crowds in, they, they can generate a great atmosphere, as we heard last night. Yeah, very much so. And just from a player's perspective as well, when the players are interviewed at the end of the game, I'm literally just stood off camera. And around 80% plus of the players are saying, wow, what a venue. And in all fairness, these are, you know, they're right up there. These players are right up there with the best players in the world. They're not the PDC standard, but they're the step below. And these guys and girls who are arriving here deserve good treatment, good hospitality. They deserve the preparation area to be right for them. They deserve the hospitality for the friends and family to be right. And that's what this venue's providing. The players' room upstairs is absolutely tremendous. It's a great preparation area for everyone to get themselves down here. Got a fabulous walk on onto a great stage. So yeah, it's all plus points, absolutely brilliant. Great venue, really, really good venue. You touched on it earlier, just with the, the fans enjoying themselves during the break. How important is that to generate the atmosphere during the break so that within the game, they're obviously on the side of the players and, and creating an atmosphere inside the venue? Yeah, a lot of the audience members here are friends and family of players. Uh, whilst they're at the hockey, they're very respectful. There's a lot of order. There's only been a couple of occasions where the referees have had to ask for the best of order, but they really let the hair down during the advert breaks. You know, off camera, we have a real good party, but not a great respectful audience. One good thing as well about the BDO is after a play is finished, you'll more often than not see them in the audience, sat with the friends and family, grabbing a few selfies, getting a few autographs with uh, the darts fans who are here. So great, it's a good thing. The BDO crowds have been fantastic. Just looking around here, we're sort of 45 minutes away from going on uh, this afternoon. I can see fancy dressed people in there's ladies dressed as jockeys, horse jockeys. It's gonna be good. We're gonna have a good afternoon. Uh, just finally from me, Paul, I want your predictions for a male winner and a female winner for the uh, tournament. I always sit on the fence, but if I've got to do any predictions, I don't think you can look past Lisa Ashton in the ladies. She really is a remarkable talent, as is the other ladies, but I think Lisa has just got that edge on everybody else. And as far as the men goes, 
you could take it from one or two really but I'll stick my neck out and say Jim Williams it's nice to see Andy Hamilton winning last night by the way I've known Andy for over 10 years great to see Andy winning as well nearly had a nine daughter last night as well with Paul Hogan who's come to London throwing tremendous Paul Hogan has uh, been absolutely fantastic but yeah I don't think you can look past Jim Williams he had a little bit of a tough time against uh, Gary Stone in uh, his first visit to the stage on Saturday but I think Jim Williams if he gets his game together I think you look can't look past Jim or maybe maybe Wesley you know two they're gonna be your top two lads I think and uh, young Leighton Bennett takes to the stage as well tonight wow teenage sensation if that young man plays his cards right he's got the potential to go on and be at the very 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 top of darts brilliant thank you very much Paul enjoy this afternoon very well. Pleasure.